Okay, I'll show some problems which are related uh, irrational numbers. So the problems based on irrational numbers. So some important sums I'll show you. So based on that, you can do the rest of the sums also. It's very easy. If you uh, see the question here, how to solve and briefly you'll see. For example, question number one is like this. If A and B are rational numbers, if A and B are rational numbers, and 2 plus root 3 by 2 minus root 3 is equals to a plus b root 3. This is given. If it is this and find a b values, we need to find the value of a b. We need to find the value of a and b, right? And similar sums are the same more. It can just you change the numbers in the place of a b. Okay, so when you need to solve this, 2 plus root 3 by 2 minus root 3 is a plus b root 3. This is the given data. When we see the denominator for this, denominator is 2 minus root 3. For this, there is no any denominator. That means uh, 1 we can take it as the denominator. So if I rationalize this denominator, then you can make equate to some a plus b root 3. So we should take LHS first. Whenever problems are given, first take the part 2 plus root 3 by 2 minus root 3. So take this left side part and we need to rationalize this denominator first. Okay, if you use rationalizing denominator, rationalizing factor of 2 minus root 3. Here, rationalizing factor of uh, 2 minus root 3 is obviously 2 plus root 3, changing the sign. If you rationalize the denominator only, we can solve this. And that means 2 plus root 3 by 2 minus root 3. We should multiply with rationalizing factor. That is 2 plus root 3 by 2 plus root 3 multiply and divide. Because for negative sign, you can take positive. If you multiply this, both numerators are same. So 2 plus root 3 whole square by down a plus b into a minus b formula. So 2 square minus root 3 whole square. Numerator can apply a plus b whole square formula. So 2 square a square plus uh, b value is root 3 square plus 2ab. 2 into a value is 2 and b value is root 3 in that place. 2 square is 4 denominator minus root 3 whole square is 3. Right? So we simplify 2 square is 4, root 3 square is 3, plus 2 to the 4 root 3. By 4 minus 3 is 1. Now 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 4 root 3 by 1, we can take as this. So 7 plus 4 root 3. That means 2 plus root 3 by 2 minus root 3 value, 7 plus 4 root 3. Right? But they are given... 2 plus root 3 minus 2 or uh, 2 by uh, 2 plus root 3 by 2 minus root 3 is a plus b root 3. A plus b root 3. Therefore, we can write 7 plus 4 root 3 is equals to a plus b root 3. Okay, this is given in the question itself. Question itself, a plus b root 3. So LHS I have taken, I simplified, means I rationalized the denominator. Now, if you observe this, similar terms, in the uh, A plus 7, in the place of B, it is 4. Therefore, A is equal to 7 and B is equal to 4, because root 3 is same. Okay. In this way, you can find out A is 7 and B is 4, right? We'll see one more problem, then we'll get more clear idea by these problems. The question is, if A, B are rational numbers, same like that, if A, comma, B are rational numbers, and given data is here, square root of 13 minus square root of 11 by 
root 13 plus root 11. The value is equals to a minus b root 143. Right? Then find the value of a and b. Find a b values. Okay. Then need to solve the sum. So any question is given, take the first uh, LHS part that is square root of 13 minus square root of 11 by square root of 13 plus square root of 11. First you should rationalize the denominator. So when you want to rationalize this denominator, rationalizing factor. So rationalizing factor of root 13 plus root 11 is, you know that root 13 minus root 11, right? So we take root 13 minus root 11, multiply and divide. So root 13 minus root 11 by root 13 plus root 11. Just multiply with root 13 minus root 11 by root 13 minus root 11. Now if you see the numerator part is same. That is root 13 minus root 11 whole square. Denominator is plus and minus. So a plus b into a minus b formula. That is a square. So root 13 square minus root 11 square. And numerator you can multiply a minus b whole square formula if you apply. a square root 13 square plus uh, uh, root 11 square minus 2ab. 2 into root 13 into root 11. By root 13 square is 13 minus root 11 square is 11. Then if you simplify root 13 plus 11 minus 2 into 13 into 11. By 13 minus 11 is 2. Now root 13 plus root 11 is 24 minus 2 into 13 into 11. So if you multiply that is 143 by 2. Okay. Then we can separate the denominator. We can separate the denominator. That is uh, 24 by 2 minus 2 root 143 by 2. Separate the denominator. We can cancel. We simplify this. 2 1 zero, 2 12 zero. So 12 minus a 2 to cancel root 143. Right. Now 12 minus root 143 is LHS value. But this value is nothing but A minus B root 143. Therefore, this is equals to 12 minus square root of 143 is equals to A minus B root 143. So when you observe both values here, a value is 12 and there is one root 143 there is no b value that means you can take it as 1 so there is no means value is 1 therefore a is equals to 12 and b is equals to 1 because you can take 1 into root 143 so b is 1 right a is equals to 12 and b is equals to plus 1 you can take okay we know the problems are given you can simplify like this and uh, how to solve one more problem I will show you. For example, one question is uh, if previous two sums you can solve anything in the rationalize the denominator and you can simplify. For example, one question is if x is equals to 2 plus root 3, x value is given, find x square plus 1 by x square. Okay x value is given, find the value of x square plus 1 by x square. So we need x square value. x square plus 1 by x square value, you need to find out. Just you can take. First you will find out x plus 1 by x. Okay, how to solve. Let's see solution of this. This is somewhat different. Same, just you should find out 1 by x first. x is equals to 2 plus root 3. So directly if you instead of applying squaring, find out 1 by x. That is 1 by 2 plus root 3. 1 by x value. So x is 2 plus root 3. Then find out 1 by x also. 
if you rationalize this denominator so x is 2 plus root 3 and 1 by x is 1 by 2 plus root 3 now just to rationalize this uh, denominator into 2 minus root 3 by 2 minus root 3 you already perfect out rationalize now that I am writing now 2 minus root 3 by a plus b into a minus b 2 square minus root 3 square that is 2 minus root 3 by 2 square is 4 root 3 square is 3 so 2 minus root 3 by 1 that is 2 minus root 3 okay. now x is 2 plus root 3 1 by x is 2 minus root 3 now therefore x plus 1 by x is equals to x value is 2 plus root 3 plus 1 by x value is 2 minus root 3 if you cancel this plus root 3 minus root 3 that is equal to 4 so x plus 1 by x is 4 now they, they asked we need to find out uh, x square plus 1 by x square just apply squaring on both sides it will get easily okay we need to find out x square plus 1 by x square value therefore you have to take the value x plus 1 by x is equals to 4 squaring on both sides just apply a plus b o square formula so a square plus b square plus 2ab 2 into x into 1 by x is equal to 4 square is 16 here cancel x denominator no? you can cancel this so x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 is equal to 16 then x square plus 1 by x square 16 minus 2 so plus 2 take right side that's it x square plus 1 by x square is equal to 14 this way you can solve in easy first you can find out x plus 1 by x then applying the squaring so directly if you do x square value and simplify it take a lot and this is the easy method to solve like these problems okay because we know already x plus 1 by x whole square if you do automatically you get x square plus 1 by x square value that's why first x plus 1 by x and squaring on both sides you'll get x square plus 1 by x square is 14 right so in this way we can solve the problems which are related to irrational numbers rationalizing denominator as well as this Yes. So similarly, you can do the more problems also. So if they change the numbers, in the place of A, B values also, we can find out rest of the questions.